Inside the cozy cabin, the fireplace crackled merrily, casting dancing shadows on the walls. Sarah sat on the worn armchair, a book in her lap, her gaze drawn to the playful scene unfolding before her. Hoppy, the baby deer, was chasing a fluffy ball of white fur across the living room floor. Their unlikely friendship, a bond formed in the aftermath of a tragic accident, was a source of constant amusement. Sarah had found Hoppy as a fawn, barely a week old, orphaned and shivering in the undergrowth after a storm. He was initially terrified of humans, trembling and trying to hide behind her legs. But Sarah's gentle touch, her soothing voice, and the warmth of her home had gradually calmed him. The cat, named Snowball, was an old hand at this game. He would bat the ball playfully, then dash under the furniture, watching with amusement as Hoppy, with his awkward, gangly limbs, would stumble after him. The two played in perfect harmony, a scene that would make anyone believe that a deer and a cat were natural companions. But as the fire crackled, Sarah's eyes missed it over. The light flickered, casting long shadows that danced across the room. Sarah looked at Hoppy, his soft brown eyes twinkling with playful mischief. The thought of him returning to the wild, of having to say goodbye, was a constant ache in her heart. He was more than just a pet he was family. Suddenly, a loud thump against the window jolted Sarah. Her heart pounded in her chest. It was a sound she had heard before, the unmistakable sound of a deer's hooves. A shiver ran down her spine, a premonition of something amiss. She peered through the window, her breath catching in her throat. A large buck, its antlers impressive and threatening, stood there, staring intently at the cabin. It was the same buck who had been spotted near the cabin earlier that week. Sarah could feel a wave of primal fear wash over her. Was he Hoppy's father? She looked at Hoppy, who was now nuzzling Snowball. He was oblivious to the danger outside, his tail twitching with excitement. She couldn't bear the thought of something happening to him. She had to act fast. Snowball, come here, kitty, she called out, her voice barely above a whisper. The cat, sensing her apprehension, hopped onto her lap. Sarah gathered her courage and cautiously opened the door a crack. The buck, sensing her presence, took a step forward. His gaze met hers, his eyes burning with a strange intensity. She held her breath, her heart hammering in her chest. She could feel a cold sweat forming on her forehead. Was he here to claim his lost fawn? Was he going to hurt Hoppy? Suddenly, the buck lowered its head, its antlers touching the ground. He let out a low, mournful groan, a sound that resonated with sorrow and longing. Then, he turned and walked away, his hooves crunching on the dry leaves as he disappeared into the darkness. Sarah watched him go, her heart still pounding in her chest. She couldn't understand what she had just witnessed. The buck had seemed so threatening, yet he had left without causing any harm. But what did that groan mean? Was it a warning, a farewell, or something else entirely? She closed the door and turned to face Hoppy, who was now looking at her with his big, innocent eyes. He seemed oblivious to the drama that had just unfolded outside. He nudged her hand, his soft nose seeking her touch. Sarah took him into her arms, holding him close. Her fear had subsided, but the questions lingered. What did the buck want? Was he truly Hoppy's father? And why had he left without taking him back? 